I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. Behold, it's the light of Judah. Hey, excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever felt numb in life? Okay. And if you did, what did you do to come back to a place of like feeling alive again? Okay. What's your name? I'm Wendy. Wendy. I'm Michael. Hi, Michael. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. And make sure I get the name of your blog. So I actually um, also have a blog. Um, when I turned 50, I committed to hiking 5.0 miles in all 50 states in 50 months. Oh, wow. So I'm actually from Cleveland. Oh, so wow. I'm, in Arizona, I'm doing Arizona this weekend. In 2020, I was working on a, an amazing dream project of mine and COVID hit um, and my investors backed out. So all of a sudden I found myself like, what do I do with life? So um, I know I've been hiking for about 25 years, but I really started doing long, hard hikes. Um, so hiking is the way I find myself. Um, when I get lost or I get busy in my head, I go hit the trail and the longer the, and the harder the trail, the better. Mm. Um, and then I also started um, in Cleveland, there's a group called Hike CLE. So I started leading group hikes and then introducing other people into nature. So that became fulfilling for me as well. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. What is it about nature that makes you feel alive? It may, actually makes me realize really how small I am in the whole universe. Um, and then it just really brings you to the moment. If you know, when you hike, you can't be busy in your head. You've got to pay attention to the trail, mm -hmm. the rocks, the roots, that sort of thing. So it gets you out of your head and gets you like right in the moment. It makes us realize that there's something bigger than ourselves. So yeah, like in 2016, I traveled all 50 states because I was feeling very, very like dead. And I felt like my relationship with God was singing to a level of into a place where I was just unresponsive, you know, and the thing about that is just like, when you start to get to that place of irresponsiveness to God and you just feel like you don't care, like I'm going to be reckless and wild and do whatever I want to do because I just don't care or you've got a heartbreak or something happened in the relationship that didn't go right. Um, usually this is where this numbness comes from, this disconnect from reality that you end up in crazy places because of pain and usually what we try to do with pain is self-medicate we try to hide and we try to act like nothing ever happened or like we just want to kind of like run away so instead of run away from our problems we need to run into the arms of God we need to run into his word we need to run into the place where God is. And if we just look at nature, like the Bible even says that nature declares God. It speaks without saying a word. The skies declare who he is. So next time you're feeling numb or you feel like you don't have what it takes to live life, listen for God in the simple things. Like we can see him in nature. We can see him in scripture. We can see him in prayer. We can see him just by taking a deep breath, letting it all go, releasing. Don't go numb on life. There's so much to see. There's so much to do. Don't give up. Behold, it's the light of Judah.